Today, you will see the Museum of Glass Hot Shop team, Ben Cobb, Gabe Feenan, and Sarah Gilbert. They will make a large rondelle with concentric ridges. A rondelle is a flat glass plate. These were originally used in the Middle Ages as a method of making glass for windows. colored glass completely covers the original bubble. This is called a color overlay. Ben lets the bubble cool off a little bit and stiffen. And then he's going to immerse it back into the tank of hot molten glass and add another layer. Each time we dip it into the glass and coat it, it's called taking a gather. Once he's got the gather, we shape it up with a tool called the block. The block is a wooden tool. It's used wet. As long as the wood is wet, the tool doesn't stick, nor does the tool itself burn. Blocks are usually made out of some kind of fruit wood, cherry, pear, apple. Fruit woods are good because they are dense, so they burn slowly, and they don't have much resin, so they don't smoke. Now Ben has switched to the newspaper. That pad in his hand is just wet newspaper. He, with the wet newspaper, he can shape the glass without sucking out any heat, so the glass stays hot and malleable longer. Now Sarah is preparing the glass for the roller wrap. A roller wrap is a spiral stripe decoration. You place the pipe on two offset sets of rollers and we're going to wind on a spiral stripe of a contrasting colored glass. Here comes Sarah. She flips it over, dabs it on, and then Ben begins to spin. As he spins the pipe, it not only rotates, but it starts to move backwards. And this allows him to make a very tight spiral stripe around the bubble. You melt that in, and that will become our roller. Now Ben is abusing the spiral, and he's going to make the straight spiral design into kind of a wavy design. So each time he drags it, it moves the spiral stripes around. If you look carefully, you can see as he rolls against that steel table, the glass gets colder and you're better able to see the stripes. The glow from the heat recedes and you can see more of the color. Glow soft? Low? Yeah. Low. Low? Low. Could you blow? We're still blowing. Could you stop blowing? Stop blowing. Stop blowing. No. We're going to take another gather, another coating. We'll drip the excess off into that steel can. That excess glass will be kept and eventually we'll throw it back in the furnace and use it again. Ben is rolling the glass against a special graphite mold. 
the team developed this graphite mold to make uh, some custom decanters for the Red Hot Gala in 2015. To the glass, we roll the hot glass over the graphite mold, the glass sags between the slabs and gives us our ribs, rib shape. Now Ben is going to trim off a little bit of the glass at the very tip. Squeeze it with the jacks. And then we'll use the diamond shears, the scissors, to cut it off. Shaping it up a little bit with the jacks. Just said you were making a stained glass with jacks are those big metal tops. Now Ben is heating up the glass near the pipe, which will end up being the top of the bubble. Then squeezing the glass with the jack, he blows a little compressed air on the front end to stiffen it a bit so when we blow it up, that end doesn't expand too much. Now we're going to heat it up really hot and soft. Ben is going to hold the glass up in the air and that will cause it to widen and flatten and we'll get the disc shape that we need to make a rondelle. We have to have this wide flat disc shape in order to spin it out into a completely flat plate. Gabe is preparing the punty. Punty is the second steel rod. The punty will act as a temporary handle to hold the glass from the bottom while we shape the top. And attaches the punty. He's going to take a pair of tweezers, dip them in water, and a few drops of water, crack the glass, and then a firm tap will release it from the original pipe. that the glass is on center. Heat it up and make it nice and soft again. Then widens the opening a little bit with the jacks. His assistant holds a wooden paddle in front of his arm to shield him from the heat. The heat that comes off the glass is radiant heat. It heats the first thing it strikes. So if you put the paddle between the arm and the glass, the paddle gets hot and the arm doesn't. Now we're going to use a torch to soften the back of our bowl shape. Spin it out, it's often hard to get that part to flatten out, so we're going to make it a little bit extra soft with the torch. As we spin it, centrifugal force widens it and widens it. Now we're going to go for the big spin, and what was a bowl shape is now a flat. Sure it's flat. 
with the wooden panel. That would be a plate right there. We can do that. I think I succeeded. I just don't know if it'll come off. Once Ben is satisfied, then we we'll move the rondelle, the big plate, off the plate. That's weird looking. Looks good. He dips the tweezers in water. Dips some water around the joint to crack it. The only crack at that joint. Sarah snaps it, off it comes. He melts the place where the glass was attached with a torch. And Sarah carries it to the annealing oven and cooled slowly overnight.